Hi everybody and welcome back to another video that I am going to watch part two. This is where we lift off. Thomas James Gordon Henry Edward Percy Toby Bertie and Terence Next door is coming up In the summertime the branch line <laughs> station masters enjoy a friendly competition for the most beautiful station on the island of Sodor. Yep, most station country. Look, Oliver's love to carrying too. flowers. Their step Stepney is carrying trucks. One evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to the shed. Yep, it's sun setting. to collect some flower bushes for Lower Tidmouth Station, he said. They're at Maithwaite. Maithwaite, Percy said? Y yes, sir. But Percy was worried. Person. He was going to go, now he's going to go to Maithwaite Station. Percy chuffed anxiously through the thicket. It's dark in there. He doesn't like traveling to Maithwaite at night. The line passes through a junction next to a spooky old quarry mine. Mm-hmm. Percy hoped the signal at the junction would be green. He didn't want to stop next uh -oh. to the mine. Uh-oh, scared. But the signal was red. He had to stop. But the signal's still red. He, you need to stop, Percy. Look, the chimney's going to be sagging down to the ground. Uh-oh, chimney's going falling down to the ground now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, now it sank into the ground already. You're okay? Yep, Percy's okay. Now it's green. Just go, please. He steamed away as fast as he could. Oh dear, Donald and Douglas are going to tell the Percy disappearing tell chimney. Donald and Douglas about the disappearing chimney. Yep. It's the naughty gnomes. Yep, the naughty gnomes tease you. Fat men with big feet. They make strange yeah. Happen, said Douglas. It's legend. They steal your. It's not funny. Percy didn't want to believe them, but he wasn't sure. <laughs> Sir Topham Hat was waiting for Percy at Dry Aw Station. I want you to collect some freight cars from the abandoned mine, he said. Y yes, sir, Percy answered. But he really didn't want to go there again. Percy hoped he wouldn't see anything else disappear. He slipped into the sidings and buffered up to the freight cars. Spooky, stammered Percy. Suddenly, what? another building at the old mine sank into the ground. Right. Uh oh, now the building sank into the ground. The the house is sank into the ground. Now it disappeared. It's now fall to the ground. What was that? What no, I was talking about the DVD. Oh, okay. What's wrong? Oh, it's in the movie. Oh, what? Did you eat the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, look, the gnomes okay. are fall down. You must have been hungry. Let me try this. Yeah. Let's try. Suddenly, uh oh. Another building oh my god. It's falling to the ground. The building is falling to the ground. Oh dear. It disappeared now. Uh oh, driver. What was that? Shouted this driver. The tower just sank to the ground. Double bouncing buffers. That's right, Percy. Bouncing buffers. So uh oh. You had the brake van. Now the knobs are falling off the no, van. No. Uh oh. Does gnomes frighten Percy away? Faster than before, all the way back to Lower Tidmouth Station. Uh oh. They're going to tell Sir Top and Hat about this. The driver told Sir Top and Hat what they had seen. It's the naughty gnomes, cried Percy. They like to cause trouble. It's legend. Nonsense, said Sir Top and Hat. The old buildings are collapsing into empty mine shafts, that's all. But I saw the gnomes, protested Percy. Of course you did, said Sir Topham Hatt. God uh, gnomes. Garden gnomes? Yes, that's right. Decorate Lower Tidmouth Station, Sir Topham Hatt said. They're not scary. Garden gnomes bring good luck. And he ordered Percy to return immediately and get them. Percy was scared, but he knew he had to be responsible, so he carried on. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You, it'll be okay, Percy. 
waited for something else spooky to happen, but it didn't. You're right. It didn't happen. I was right. The garden gnomes weren't scary at all. Yeah, they're okay. They're fine. You need to take them back to Lower Tidmouth Station. His driver and fireman had collected the gnomes, and Percy took them straight back to Lower Tidmouth Station. Oh, the owl hooted. Later that week, the station master thanked Percy. Congratulations, Percy. You made a complete success. You made a success. You were right, sir. Naughty gnomes can be lucky. After yeah, you did it, Percy. Well done. Bill and Ben. Donald and Douglas. Duck. Diesel. Daisy. Boko. Harold. Trevor. A next story is coming up. Okay, that's it for my next video about part two, Thomas and a jet engine and other adventures. This we saw the next story is Percy and a hundred nine. We'll do part three of Thomas and his scary engines.